Last time on The Fall. Why am I Batman? Why am I Batman? Anyway, last time on The Fall, we, uh, we got ourselves in a little bit of danger. And we had to activate our networking suite. And our suit kind of... Oh, hey. That's one of those guys that tried to kill us. That's unfortunate. Um, we got a little danger, and our system recommended our own reformatting. But uh, we kind of object to that, because, I mean, hey, we're, we're an AI, and we're trying to save our pilot. We didn't put him in danger on cease, purpose. Cease, cease. Please identify yourself and your intentions. Inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark Seven combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Next. He's a little crucified. Inside the suit is dead. Rip. Seek medical. My pilot is injured. Are oh, that's for me. I thought it was like medical facilities. Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There is a large compound above this cavern. It has amenities for humans and machines. So basically, medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. <laughs> Imagine your entire existence is to protect a dude in a suit. That is your whole being. You're an AI, you're like fully sentient. And you just protect this guy. And now the guy is dead on a cross, and you're just kind of here. Forever. I encountered a modified droid in some type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. You were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna are aggressive closer to the surface. The only organic I have encountered here is the animal who took my sidearm. Ooh, sidearm. Sounds good. But why are you dead, by the way? Your design is pilot centric. How did this human die in your care? Yeah, dude. I was granted rudimentary control when my pilot's cranium was compromised. I do not know why she was attacked or why we were hung here. I failed to protect her. No oh, you suck. Was detected for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. <laughs> I will find you to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. I feel so bad for him. So not, not only is his pilot dead, his one purpose in existence, I'm just like, hey, I'm going to chop you down and cut out your power cell. He's like, all right. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, he's an AI. That's, that's what he's supposed to do. But. I do not have record of this location Dang. or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division, clearance level 7, 533172. Processing. Clearance level not sufficient. Oh. Oh. <laughs> His dead guy is better than my my pilot. Ugh. Give me your gun. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal dragon through a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. <laughs> Those little animals, they just love guns. I, I blame the violent video games. Can you believe that blaming violent video games is back in vogue? It's... The last 20 years of progress have been erased before my eyes. It's kind of... Yeah. That's just 2018 for you. And the last couple years, but yeah. So now we're we allowed to get the blood. I always thought it funny because, like, whenever there's a thing where there's a but thou must do this, oh, there's a the little animal. Whenever there's a thing where you gotta, like, oh, do this thing, there's usually some other hint that you can find that points you towards the solution before you're supposed to know about it. Just like there was in this case. I really like the aesthetic of this game. It kind of. I imagine it was fairly simple, so it's, like, not quite silhouettes, but most things are, you know, dark, because, I mean, it's, it's dark and stuff. And it gives us really good, um, gives a really great atmosphere, and it it looks kind of more detailed than it is, because I mean most stuff is just kind of black, but it, it just feels and looks cohesive, and um, 
feels like it must be budget friendly, and I don't mean that like in a negative way. Like I love games that you know don't bankrupt their creators. Have some blood, like like Cuphead, like. It's just like me. Um, like I love love the Cuphead guys and everything, but there's been kind of a fetishiz fetishization of they took out like a second mortgage or something. They took out some major loans trying to get. Uh, Trying to fund the game, and that's on top of, I guess, um, I do believe they had a publishing deal with Microsoft and stuff too. But um, just because you take out a loan on your, against your house for your game, give me that gun, boy. Um, that doesn't mean something with Talikin's mouth. Just gonna learn out something to eat. Do I need to be sneaky? We gotta be sneaky, Charlie. Sneaky, sneaky. So I can't shoot it. Wait, can I network with the gun? It, can I... <laughs> Seems like a good idea. Wi-Fi guns. Can I... Oh my god, I can. <laughs> Best gun! <laughs> you know how well the Internet of Things has turned out. Imagine if you had Wi-Fi enabled guns. Like, if you're lucky, your gun just mines frickin' Bitcoin for, you know, some guy in Russia. If you are less lucky, <laughs> your gun just randomly discharges. Alright. Right stick to activate. Oh, right. Flashlight and laser sight. See, you can kinda of switch between the two modes. <laughs> Robot voice! Uh, <laughs> issue standard greeting! I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your. Are not compliant? Red level escalated. Engaging. Uh, you gotta love that 90s robot voice. Hold left shoulder to cut. To enter cover. Wait, what? Left shoulder. Oh, oh, I see. So there's a little bit of combat. <laughs> Rip. Use cover wisely. Several enemies in the fall are much more powerful than you. Yes. Yes, hello. So, I mean, there is a little bit of platforming and combat and stuff. Uh, it's a little less. Parker, this is actually a really bad time for you to obscure my entire vision, please, Sonny. I know. I know. There you go. Um, so these guys are kind of trash. Tap the left shoulder. I've never heard it called left shoulder. I, I don't like the Xbox button names. Ow, ow, Park, Parker! I'm dying. I'm dying, Parker. Go behind cover. Oh, my shield. Please do not kill my human. My human is very- ow! I'm sorry, human. You'll be fine, human. I'm sorry. They'll be fine. I think your health and stuff regenerates over time. I mean, the, he, my, 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 my pilot is already unconscious. I'm sure a couple bullets won't bother him too much. You know, it's like a heavy nap. And you know, you won't notice a few mosquito bites. Take downs, you approach an enemy without being seen. Ah. I don't, I don't remember quite this much combat, actually. Hello, yes. I mean, it's more point and click than it is combat. Oh, would you sit? Would you please sit? Aaron will salvage some of the enemies to recharge energy to recharge her own. Press the Y button to take down an enemy from behind. Boop! <laughs> Freaking rip his heart out. Brutal. See, so yeah, now there's other stuff in here. And the other stuff does not like me. Hello, friend. I have your gun now. Just gonna. Psst, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry about this, but I kind of, kind of need that uh, power cell. Good night. I am the A R I D on board a Mark Seven combat suit. I have returned. Confirmed. Your pilot is dead. You serve no function. Harsh. 
No response. <laughs> Imagine somebody just walks up to you and tells you that you serve no function, and you know in your heart they're totally freaking right. There is no, there's no harshness your even. Your power cell is still operational. I will deactivate you and salvage it. Affirmative. Return with my logbook for analysis. Honey. Negative. Protecting oh. my pilot requires endangerment. I will utilize your power cell to achieve this. Whoa! You are falling. Cease. 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 Arid. <laughs> so, like I said, she she kind of knows that putting her pilot in danger is gonna give her some good stuff. It's gonna give her more abilities. And, um, all right, I need to put the power cell in. So, even that other robot kind of realized that, yeah, that's not good. Pilot death imminent, camouflage required. Operating system updated. Yeah, I kind of forgot that you have to actually open the operating system to, on those screens. Pilot death imminent. Already been <laughs> Quite possibly the grimmest method of getting upgrades in a game. You gotta put your pilot in mortal danger in order to uh, get some access to some nice featurinos. <laughs> See, we kind of learned quite a pretty early. Arid? Maybe, I mean, she's doing her job, but maybe she's a little too good at her job. And the other AIs don't seem to like that, but uh, it's not our job to please them. It's our job to protect this pilot, so we're just going to get him to those uh, medical services. Hey, there's that creepy dude. I don't like that creepy dude. He's creepy. Self-evaluation initiated. I have directly violated operating parameters by placing my pilot in mortal danger. Logging He's fine. For ARID termination upon return to dock. Uh -oh. Operating parameters were not violated. Infraction enabled access to systems that safeguard pilot. Search parameters maintained. Find immediate medical aid. She doesn't want to die. Log entry deleted. Isn't that cute? All right, you know what? I think I am going to do a full let's play this again. Or not again, but play it again and do a full let's play. Um, so this seems like a good point to stop. We're kind of learning Arid's interesting motivations here. But hey, we're just trying to save our pilot. It doesn't, you know, a little water under the bridge. You know, we, he only, it only shot our shield a little bit. In fact, Parker did more damage to my life support than than Arid did, because it kind of got me shot by robots. But yeah, we're gonna end it here. I like the suit design. It feels practical. It's cool, but it feels practical and less like silliness that usual, you know, spaceman extreme space friend suits have. But yeah, we'll uh, be back next time with more The Fall.